Okay, so somebody asked me, how do I study the Bible? So I'm going to show you guys a video and we're going to study the Bible together. So the things that I have is obviously my Bible. This is an NIV Bible. It's so pretty. I got it from Amazon if you want it. I also just have a notebook. I got two different pens because one of them's kind of running out. So just in case. Then I got my Bible safe highlighter that I showed in my last video, I think it was. I love them. You can probably get them off of Amazon. I don't know. Recently, I have been reading two books. I have been reading Proverbs and I have been reading Daniel. So today we're going to read Proverbs. The first thing I want to say real quick is I tend to just highlight, underline, write little notes and do that type of stuff in my Bible, but not, so not always do I use this, but sometimes I will. So for this video's like sake, I will use this notebook so you kind of, kind of can see what I do. So today we're going to read Proverbs 7. The first thing you want to do is you're going to read. And whatever catches your eye, whatever you think is important, you're just going to highlight with your Bible safe highlighter. She's a husband. Okay, so I just finished reading chapter 7. That? That was insane. Um, if you've never read it, go read it because it's genuinely insane. Next thing I like to do is take your pen and anything that I highlighted, I go back to, okay? And I like writing little notes about them. So now I'm not saying every single thing you highlighted, write notes, but I'm just saying if it speaks to you and you have something you wanna write about it, write it in your Bible. For example, um, chapter 7, verse 2, it says, Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. And then verse 3 says, Bind them on your fingers. Write them on your tablet of your heart. So I'm just going to do a little square. I'll show you like in a second what I mean. But I'm just going to do a little square around like the side of it. And now what am I going to say about it, you might be thinking, is I'm going to write that keeping God's command is what is going to keep you like is what's going to help you have discipline against sin. So this is what I mean. A little square about where you wanted it to say. So like I was doing two and three. And then I have what I said over here. Just like example there. Um, I do them all over here. I'm just going to do this until I feel like I have everything I have that I want to write written down. So yeah. And then I'll show you guys my next part. Now this is where you're going to get your notebook. Some things that I like to do in my notebook is two things. The first one sometimes I do is the SOAP method, which is S stands for scripture. So write down any scripture that you found when you were reading that spoke out to you or that you want to always remember, whatever. O stands for observation. Anything that you observed when you were reading, anything that came to your head, write it down. Write it in your notebook. Write it so you can, when you look back, you're like, oh, I remember thinking that. A is for application which just means what did you basically learn? P is for prayer. Write down your prayer, have a prayer, pray with God and just ask like, or just say like, God, this is what I read. I want you to have that in my heart. It's like, allow him to have that in your heart. And that is the soap method. Now something else I like to do is just write down what you think. First thing I'm gonna write at the tops is Proverbs 7 because that's what I did. The things that I kind of want to write down because like I'm just thinking about it is uh, when you don't have God's commands, then sin is going to be way more tempting. I'm going to write any verses that really stuck out with me. So basically, I'm going to write down the verses where I actually wrote something on the side because those were the verses that stuck out to me. Now I'm going to kind of give advice, I guess you could say. Okay, guys, so we're actually in a severe thunderstorm right now. And my power just went out. When you feel tempted run to god second advice i want to give myself is always be committed and have a christ-centered relationship honestly that's all i'm kind of feeling like writing i feel like where i've been reading recently i don't really need to use a notebook but i wanted to use it to kind of give you guys an example your notebook does not need to be fancy schmancy all the time. So I'm going to show you some things. Of course, you can make your thing cute. Maybe you want it to be really colorful. You want it to really speak out about something. Or do you just want it to be a little cute? Ugly. Kind of weird. Horrible handwriting. I literally put hashtag God ate. Like what? 
you can just have little jots of notes. It doesn't have to look cute. The handwriting doesn't have to be good. All that matters is that you took what you learned and you wrote it down so I you can go back and understand what you used to read. And that is how I study the Bible. If you guys want me to make another video about honestly anything, just uh, DM me or text me or tell me on Snapchat or comment because I'm totally open to new ideas of what you guys want to hear.